It's good. Uh, recently, I got a couple of questions from a couple of people in reference to Machine Jam and how I use it. So, to answer a few questions all at the same time, I figured I'd just put together a quick video to show you. So, this is how I use it. And here we go. Um, the first thing I use it for is song arranging. Like, if you just do beats, just quick little beats, little four bar, eight bar stuff, then I would say the jam isn't for you. But if you do like full production and whole songs, then song arrangement on this bad boy is a dream. Um, and I'll give you a quick example. So like, group A is my drums. C, I mean, B, I got those playing. This is my bass. This is a, a lead instrument I got playing on this track. This is my drop, and these are some effects from uh, the finger. But this is how quickly you can experiment to see what's gonna work as you put your song together. So, you hear it without drums. Now you might not get this bass when it comes through, but you'll hear me just quickly through, run through these patterns. If I want to change this one, add drums. So, you know, I have multiple drum patterns, different sets of chopped up samples, uh, different sets of bass notes, different patterns, rather. The same thing with this lead. I got my drop in the effects. And when I start working on my drums, for instance, and I got somewhere I got to break down or the snares ride out or something like that. Switching between my patterns is a breeze. And so formally in my song is a lot easier. You know, it's a lot less, it's, it's just mad easy on this. Another thing that I use the jam for is no input. I mean, at the end of the day, I really only use three pieces of hardware. The MK3, the jam, and a MIDI keyboard, which I have over there. So like, if I'm not in the mood to be messing with the piano, I can do. So in this case, each one of the white ones are the C, uh, the C key. And if I wanna go up or down, that's where these come in. Also, you got like chord sets or being able to run up and down the keys like this. You can actually change what notes will come up on each strip. And for all y'all to have the MK3 and the new micro that's about to drop, you know, this touch strip that's on the MK3 actually came from the jam. The jam has eight of them, one per group. Um, so I use it for that. And then also when you go to your, uh, like right now, this is my active kick. So if I want to pitch the kick, so, you know, on the MK3, you have 16 pads when here you got 64. So the range is, is just higher and it's all in your face. And all those things just knock off moments and minutes in your workflow. Oh, and just to show you what I meant with the chords. So you're not limited to having them in groups of 16 because of the 16 pads. Again, you got 64 pads in front of you. And it's just more of a convenience 
in a preference thing. Alright, so another thing that I use it for occasionally is step recording. More so when I'm doing house, percussion in house. But just to give you a taste, uh, here we go right here. So if I want to get rid of these first two kicks, put them back. And I know that some people like really like step recording and then you can change it from one to four to eight notes that you're dealing with at one time. You know, step recording is your thing or, you know, and like I said, I tap it every now and then, but it's there at my disposal. And then the volume controls are at the bottom. So, matter of fact, let me throw some high hats in here. got the idea with that. Alright, so the last thing that I use machine for as as an additional controller for tractor. Currently I still use the original S1 controller and two F1s. But tractor has added so many more functions since then. And in order to access all those functions without having to purchase a newer controller even though I have my eyes on that new S4. Um, a lot of those commands are mapped to the jam. So I got play here. I got loop here. The size of the loop. I got flux. I got eight cue points. This is this side here is deck B. This side here is deck A. And I play loops on decks three and four. So I'm sorry. This is deck one, deck two. But I'll give you a quick a quick uh example of what I mean. I map the meters too, just to make it look fly. But jumping around in the songs, nothing. So I'm flux move with this button. Right here, it will allow me to do a little juggle type action. So you're here with me. I can change the size of this loop. So as you can see, it's, it's a lot of different stuff that you can do with the jam, especially just on the machine side, working on beats and production. It's a lot of other stuff that I could have went into, but this is more just to kind of give you a taste. I'll say this much. Um, it's not so much um, machine jam versus the MK3 or the studio or the MK2 or the MK1. This is more of a compliment to machine, you know, um, and I'm kind of, I use both of them equally. Like when I'm working on music, I'm bouncing between the two. What's easier to do on here, I do on here. What's easier to do on here, I do on there. And, and I've had this, it'll be two years come this Christmas. So I'm back and forth between the two of them seamlessly. And it's like when I only have one of the two of them in front of me, do I have to kind of stop and think because I'm accustomed to working two of them. So they really complement each other. I mean, if I'm stuck with only one, I prefer this one. But if I'm not really dealing with anything that's like sample based, I can rock with this. Um, what I'm really waiting for, though, is for them to come with an MK2 of this. 
you know, something that has touch sensitive buttons so you can get expressive with them. Something that has uh, screens so that I don't have to look up. It's not really a problem, but it will be easier, especially if I'm like in a coffee shop or something and I'm just kind of chilling in the corner working on something. You know, I, I, and I have this with me because I have taken this on vacation and just this, just to force me to get in the habit of using it by itself. Um, but again, they, they complement each other as opposed to being one versus the other. You don't have to have this to do damage, but it definitely makes production a whole lot easier. Um, and those minutes and moments get shaved off with the quickness. So that's it. Hopefully this helps somebody. Hit me with any questions. And that's it.